Hey guys, welcome to Fingerbones. Now this is a game I have I've seen before, but I've never played. So I'm really excited to get into this. Let's see what's on this table here. I've heard a lot about it. Uh, it's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm not really in the mood. I distracted her with TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything. More than usual, a handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and uh, philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay. So he's smart. Cool. Let's see what we got to play with here. This game's very pretty. Uh, okay, if you guys want to read that, go ahead and read it. I'm not going to uh, read everything in this. Let me get this flashlight here. Oh, this flashlight. That's a... looks like a vault. Okay, let's wander around this room and see what we can find here. Uh... Okay. So, his daughter's name is the, uh... Pastor. You know what? As a matter of fact, I am going to read these. I'm sorry uh, if you guys didn't want me to, but I am going to read these because I, I bet this is pretty important. Um... So let's see what we can find. Uh... Oh, when I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Yesterday night. What was yesterday night? Okay. So... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I kind of startled me a little bit. Let's. Let's, let's move on, I guess. Lord, have mercy. Okay. So, what did that do? I wonder, did it uh, open up anything? Or... I started to play this a few minutes ago, and I accidentally went through that door right over there, and uh, screwed everything. Oh, the lap, the uh, thing's on now. If I can get around this flipping chair. Okay. So, what was his daughter's name again? That was the password. I bet that's the thing to the door, or whatever. Katie. Katie is, the, is his name. There's her name. Her name. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Katie. Don't you tell me that's not it. I know it is. Don't you lie to me. Wait a minute. Did it? Let me go back and read that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to, to get everything kind of figured out here. So let's see what that note said. I don't know why I'd use my stepdaughter's name as a door a lot code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay. That's mean. Okay. So, I reckon this... No cap? Don't you lie to me, you dick. Oh, that opened. Oh my god, I don't like this. Ugh. It's finally happened. The world is under chaos and thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will all probably be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started. I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom for all the irrational rules and in, uh, inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Damn, this dude is fucked up. That door's locked. That is locked. I boxed up everything that is practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific education. Edification, sorry. Oh, shit. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably... What? The blood? What do you mean, the blood? What was I... What was the point in coming down here? There's nothing to open. Shit. Okay. This is kind of weird. <laughs> Let me, uh... Let's see.
this is a definitely like a, a weird, weird style game. Uh, okay. Let me try it one more time. And it still says it's not taking it. Well then what the hell am I supposed to do? Because it really doesn't make any sense. At all. Well I'm in a pickle! Uh... <laughs> Uh, guys, I'll be back as soon as I can figure this out. Okay, guys, I think I may have figured it out because I just typed in the mother's name and I heard a buzz. And then when I tried to type in something else, uh, it said that uh, there was no buzz. So let me see if this actually worked. Uh, ha <laughs> ha! Yes, I am a genius. Not really. <laughs> All right, let's see. She remember Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it helps break up the monotony. What the f- What? Excuse me? You can go die. Okay, these are things I've wanted to do for years, desires I've kept in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical... Dude. Dude, please don't rape your own stepdaughter. This is so fucked up. I changed the storage room code to something easily... Something... I can easily remember. And and why the rest of the word is missing. And N Y L, maybe? That might might be it. I'm not sure. This is a creepy game, man. Uh, I didn't really catch who made this, but uh, props to you. I mean, it's not like that last game horror game I played. This is more like a... Even in the description, it said it was more of a psychological. Let me try L-L-Y-N, or N-N-Y-L. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Sweet. Okay. Awesome. Let's try to, uh... Let's try to do this. So it was that girl's mother's name backwards. Lynn. Did this open? Shit. Alright, cool. I'm, I am a bag of DNA and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and protect their genes, dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination, fleeting electrical si signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They are used to serve a purpose, and now and they are needless confusion, and here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Fuck off. Sorry, that was kind of a Markiplier thing to say. <laughs> what did that do? Did it open this? Obviously not! So what happened? I, I don't think I understand, did he? Like, kill his daughter? Or what happened? I don't really know. <laughs> Let's figure this out. What is that? The 
cellar is. Are those fingers? Oh, they're finger bones! Oh my god! Oh my god! I get it! You sly son of a bitch. So let's go to the cellar. Why can't I open the cellar? Maybe the code is freedom. Okay, alright, I swear to god, guys, I am not, like, I have not, never watched anything on this. I've, I mean, even, no, I did watch something on it, but I don't remember anything about it. So let me try to punch in that code, and if it doesn't work, oh well. It worked. Okay. Alright, guys. This game is actually really creepy. I mean, it's got like a... I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but it's like, it's odd. Oh, fuck. There's only food enough once, so she's gonna die anyway. I'm free now. He killed his daughter. It seems to be torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I do not we I do not know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts. Oh my God. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one flicker, one last flicker, the flashlight died, and he was left in pitch dark. Oh wait, I didn't read. He sat down on the clothes. So that was finger bones. Okay. So what happened was the fraps kind of screwed up at the end and just like quit working. But uh, nothing else happened after that. Uh, the screen just faded to black and the game closed by itself. Um, but that was a good game. I'm really happy I played it. And I'm really happy I downloaded it. So um, if you guys liked it, like the video and uh, subscribe to Gold City. And I've got more videos like it coming. Uh, that was a, a kind of creepy game. It wasn't that bad. Um, but I really recommend the game. It's called Finger Bones, of course, obviously. And um, you can download it off of Game Jolt. Um, and I'm not going to put a link in the description because every time I say I do, I forget. So, sorry. <laughs> but it's on Game Jolt. Just look up Finger Bones on, on GameJolt.com and uh, everything should be good from there. So, I really uh, would like to thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!